the same time as the economy is starting to falter, what, what we're seeing is uh, the, the Communist Party is putting in place the mechanisms of social control that can keep it in power, even if they're failing on their social compact to deliver to the Chinese people. Um, and a large part of this uh, comes through what is now being called a social credit system. Now, a social credit system is actually a score which you as an individual Chinese citizen will receive. It's, it's out of 800. At birth? Uh, well, from birth, yep, you'll, you'll be part of the system. That will measure things like, for example, uh, whether you pay your credit cards on time, your, your debt worthiness, uh, your uh, criminal records if you have it. Um, but it will also measure, John, um, things like um, how, how closely you support the party. Are there any indications that you might actually not support the party on issues like Taiwan or the South China Sea or the treatment of uh, Uyghurs in, uh, in Xinjiang province? And if you're rated on your social credit system to be perhaps not completely trustworthy, uh, what that will mean is that firstly, you'll be unable to join the Communist Party, which is the number one path to personal success in China. You won't be able to travel abroad. Your study and employment uh, opportunities will be severely constrained. Um, and um, so this is becoming a mechanism for controlling the population of you know 1.3 billion people almost on an hour by hour basis. Now, how does, how does China do this? Well, it's um, the, the most um, advanced array of surveillance cameras. Uh, with I read somewhere 400 million closed circuit televisions. It, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, I mean, certainly down the East Coast, that, that would be true, uh, which is also connected to biometric data about um, you as an individual. And, and there's a famous case of um, uh, a Chinese person who had been committed of some petty crimes actually being picked out of a, I think it was a soccer audience of about 30,000 people in a stadium through the use of biometric devices to identify that person. So, you know, you don't have to be a Leninist, even though Xi Jinping is, to sort of understand how that can uh, move into very tight political control of, of people's life aspirations. Something that we should be worried about is, is that the party also sees this as a way of managing what they call um, overseas Chinese, but that you and I might call um, um, Australians of uh, Chinese ethnicity. Uh, so China makes no acknowledgement of uh, Chinese overseas as being anything other than overseas Chinese that are, should be responsive to the party.